In this video, we're diving into the world of cleaning with the spotlight on Revisso Clearview Pet Vacuum Cleaner. In my last video, we talked about the five benefits of keeping your vacuum clean. So now, let's take a step-by-step -step tutorial on the components to be cleaned on the Bissell Clearview. Now let's get started. There are six screws holding in place the brush roll cover. It's the cover that encloses and protects the brush roll. Once all screws are removed, both protective covers should easily detach from the vacuum. Dust and debris can accumulate around the brush roll housing, leading to clogs. Cleaning these components helps to prevent these obstructions, ensuring proper airflow and suction. Remove the brush roll by lifting the brush off its components and slide off the belt. Over time, the brush roll will accumulate debris, which can impede its rotation. Cleaning ensures that the brush roll operates smoothly, allowing it to agitate and lift dirt from the carpet and floors efficiently. There are three screws and two securing brackets for the brush roll housing. Remove the housing by lifting off the brackets. Once off the base, disconnect the holes from the brush roll housing and turn the holes counterclockwise to release it from the holes. Accumulated debris around the housing can lead to overheating. A clean housing promotes efficient cooling, preventing damage to the molder and other components. Dirt and debris gets trapped in the filter, producing unpleasant odors. It is a buildup of bacteria and particles that contribute to the bad smell in your vacuum. When filters are clean, they can effectively capture and contain dust particles, in turn improving your indoor air quality. As we wrap up our maintenance journey, remember, every component plays a vital role in the overall efficiency of your vacuum. A well-maintained vacuum is not just a tool, it's a commitment to a healthier, cleaner home. If you have any questions, thoughts, or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more consumer education content. Thanks for watching.